Would you pay 1,899 ringgit for a hairdryer? I'm sure you know which brand I'm talking about, right? Want to know more? Come, follow me. Hey guys, I'm Dr. Ali from HTS Clinic. Thanks for coming into our channel and if you like whatever that we have here, hit the subscribe button, like our videos, comment below so that we know you're getting engaged with us and you'd like to ha uh, hear more topics from us. In fact, if you hit that little bell button there, you get notified with the next video. Now this week, I'm going to talk about different types of hair dryers and we want to know if 1,000 899 ringgit is a worthwhile price to pay for a hairdryer. Oh. So, I'm sure you know which brand it is, and we're gonna bring it up right up. Oh, here it is. Nice, big, and chunky. Now, that's the Dyson Supersonic hairdryer. Some basic information about it it's developed, of course, from the UK, claims to have six times faster drying capacity with lower heat which prevents heat damage onto your hair. This little nifty technology took 50 months to develop. That's like, wow, four years to build a hair dryer? Could you believe that? And 103 engineers were involved, or at least so they say. Now, nice nifty packaging, and la di da we have here the whole shebang. The dryer, it comes with four different types of attachments from the diffuser, concentrator, the gentle air freeze, and the smoothing nozzles. Well, of course, when you buy in the market these days, they've got all the different, different nifty colors. Well, we happen to just get this version. No big deal about it. This is a nice nifty piece of technology, very light. It's about point, about 700 grams, or to be more precise, 0 0.659 kilograms, or 660 grams. It is superbly light for a very nifty piece of technology. Simple buttons, no LED screen function, just a couple of buttons. Um, I'm sure we'll, we'll find out more later from the heat settings to um, the speed. It's also got cool gushes of air and of course the on-off button. What I love about it is the turbine. You can see through it, see through it, see through it and you really wonder how does this work compared to all the other traditional ones? So now we're moving on to the next product that we want to review to make sure that we want to... Actually, we want to know, is it really worth 1899 to get this little baby here? Or can we make do with something way much more economical? So with me here is... Ta-da! Now this is the Xiaomi hair dryer. You can get it off Shopee Lazada for... 75 to 85 ringgit, um, then you add in your delivery. Nice, simple, nifty technology here, nothing too fancy. I think most of us will agree that we've used one of these hair dryers and you know, probably it's pretty okay. I mean, for 70 ringgit, 75 ringgit versus 1899, that is like a savings of 25 times. Nice, standard looking ones, foldable, two buttons. It's just Switch on, level one, level two. And I believe this is just a cool gush of air that you're gonna get, and that's it. Superbly light, according to the box. About 580 grams. That other one is about 660. Not much of difference. Of course, you don't get that cool function. You can't look through it. You can't look through it. The very standard ones. Nothing fancy, nothing pretentious. Straight to the point. And we wanna know, can they match one another? The salon grade, the ones that you see in all your hair salon, your barber shop, and that's the one that they generally would like to use. This little baby here will cost anywhere between 180 ringgit to 250 ringgit. Of course, different brands, different makes, different models. This one is the Gemma Pew. Pew Pew. And it's from made in Italy. Don't ask me why Italians are using P-I-U, Pew Pew. But pretty standard. Looks like a nice little gun. Looks like an Uzi. Couple of buttons here heat settings and speed settings and the standard cool gush of air. Again, you're not going to get that turbine look. Nothing goes through. Your fans at the back, pretty standard. However, being higher quality, higher grade compared to the Xiaomi, these would have higher RPM. I believe they run between 50,000 to 60,000 RPM. These run at about 20,000 RPM. 
whilst your Dyson runs at about 110,000 RPM. Slightly different. RPM just stands for revolutions per minute, how fast the fans are spinning. This is low speed, higher speed, supersonic speed, as what the box tells you. But of course, we just want to know, at the end of the day, is it worth 1899 So we're going to do some couple of tests, and I've lined up some of my volunteers to run tests on all three, and we're going to find out three very important factors. Number one, speed of drying. We want to know, they claim to be six times faster than a conventional one. Is it really true? Is it going to be six times faster? Number two, we want to know how the comfort level. There are some hair dryers whereby it gets too hot. And when it gets too hot, you can get hair damage. And number three, which is very important, a lot of people don't realize, after you're done drying your hair, how's the hair quality? Okay, now before we move on to the next segment, share with me some of the comments below. Are you using one of these hair dryers or something similar? I'd really like to know what you're using. To make this test more interesting, of course, we have to make it a little bit scientific, right? So there are a couple of factors that we want to make sure that it is consistent. Factor number one, we're going to use the same girl who's long hair, not short hair, same length of hair for this test. Factor number two, it'll be the same amount of water that's going to be applied to the hair. Factor number three, we'll have another volunteer who will be here to do the drying process in the exact same fashion. So we try to control it as much as possible in the same environment within the same day. And you want to know more? Check it out. It's coming right up after this. Right, so at this point of time, we are doing the test, all right? And we have already applied the same amount of water on the same hair with another person who's gonna be doing the hair drying process in the same fashion, same manner. Now, we're gonna talk about the drying speed. Speed of drying at one minute and 53 seconds has dried up the hair by the Dyson Supersonic at two minutes and three seconds. This took three minutes and 25 seconds. Can you believe that? <laughs> I had high expectation out of this because it's a salon grade, mind you. 1,899. You did not dry the hair as fast as a 75 ringgit. Plus point for you, downside for you. We'll move on to factor number two. How's the user experience? We're gonna start with this. So according to the review from our in-house hair drying person, this is a little bit complex in terms of the amount of buttons. It's rather heavy. It's okay for short duration. However, once you need to shake, move around, and to do the proper drying process, it gets fatigued. You get a lot of arm fatigue. It's easier to be doing it for someone else as opposed to for yourself. It tends to be very high speed. It does cause a lot of hairs to be blown out of place. You need to function well with another hand to do combing while drying at the same time. So again, it's good for a third party doing it for you, but if it's you doing it yourself, if you need to handle with a comb and with a hair dryer, it's gonna be more challenging, not to mention it's heavy. The speed is rather fast. Mind you, all three, we set it to the lowest speed, not the highest speed. And with the lowest speed, it has already caused a lot of blowing out of place. You do get some amount of tangles. So again, it's great if someone else is doing it for you. However, it is not as user-friendly if you're doing it for yourself. The upside to it is the heat setting. The heat setting, it was noted that it is not as hot as the others and therefore may not cause as much heat damage to the hair. So it's pretty good if you are doing it for someone else. It's pretty good if you want something that does not damage your hair and this is particularly important for longer hairs, hairs that has been treated, rebonded, hairs that have already been straightened or perm. You have already been chemically treated. Your hairs are much more fragile. You want to make sure it doesn't get dried out too much. And for that, I would rate this as a fair value, a fair value, and especially useful if you are doing it for someone else whereby you have total control without damaging treated hair. Moving on, number two, our good old Xiaomi. 75 ringgit, light, easy to handle, 
Just a couple of buttons, super fast drying. It's very easy for solo handlers. You don't need someone else to do it for you. Although there's limited option, again, that makes it easier for you to handle. However, it was noted. Even at low speed settings, low fan, don't forget, it's only 20,000 RPM. So it's actually very low fan speed. They compensate by having higher heat setting. So even on a level one, you can dry it faster than the Dyson Supersonic, eight seconds faster, which means they have to double or triple up on the heat setting. What was noted at even level one, the hairs were particularly crisp. You get slight burn smell. There is uncomfortable feeling on your hair and even on the surface of your skin because of the higher heat setting. You may even start to feel sweat trickling down your neck. So if you're gonna be using this, be very careful. You might want to have some heat treatment serum applied onto your hair. If you go close up, you're going to dry it up very fast, but you may damage it. You may damage your hairs with this because of the high heat setting to compensate for the lower fan setting. Remember, lower fan speed, higher heat. Therefore, it looked like it was a better deal to dry your hairs quickly. However, it will damage, especially if you've got treated hair. If you've done rebonding, if you've done dyes and colors, if you've done um, perms, I would highly not recommend this for your hair, right? If you're short like me, perhaps that's yeah, still pretty okay because you just want it fast anyway. Yep. Now moving on, Icon 3, the Dyson Supersonic. At 1899 I expect the world out of this and true to its name, it did not disappoint. 8 seconds slower, however, the speed is good. Because of its tubular design, the airflow that comes out does not cause your hair to blow out of place like you're in a hurricane. Lower heat setting, surprise, surprise, because of its higher speed but not so intense, somehow they managed to bring down the heat setting. What I do notice, a very clever design that's patented by Dyson is the fan comes out from the side, so as it blows outwards, it sucks cold air in the core. So you are blowing a turbine of hot air with a core of cool air. So hence, you're getting the best of both worlds. You're getting some amount of heat that's onto your hair, but you're getting cool air at the same time to bring it back down. Therefore, I would say, $1,899 for weight, design, function, and the science behind this. This is a pretty good, this is a pretty good piece of equipment. If you've got your long hair, colored hair, your treated hairs, and you want to get it dry without any heat damage. Now we're gonna move on to the final factor, number three. Once you're done with the hair dry, most people don't talk about this, and I find it very interesting. Once you're done drying your hair, how's the process of combing or brushing your hair? What we found out, because of the high heat setting on this, you actually get a lot of frizz. Your hairs, although it dries fast with high heat, they dry out like a dry leaf and they tend to crisscross with one another. So you will find after you're done drying your hair, it's going to be more difficult to brush your hairs down. You might find it tangles a little bit, right? If you want to make, if you want to make life better, you would have to use detangling serum or you might want to even put in some serum or hair oil into your hair before you use this onto your long hair. Then it may be able to save your hairs a little bit better. The Gamma Hue. This on the other hand, not too bad. Even after you finish combing process, not too bad, mediocre. Again, because it's a salon grade, we expect someone else to be doing it for you, which means high likelihood as they're drying, the process of drying, they've already applied some amount of treatment onto your hair as they comb and dry, comb and dry, comb and dry. If it's a solo person who's using it, the lower heat setting does not cause as much frizz, but it is still there. So fair, not the best, but fair. User review, after they're done with the Dyson Supersonic, what they found, because of its low heat setting, minimal freeze, tubular air design, fast to cool off, your hairs, even without applying any form of serum, without any form of detangler, you actually get very manageable hair. One of its patented technologies to send negative ions out, which means it removes the ionic bonds. So you don't get static onto your hair, so they don't stick together, right? When they don't stick together, it will repel. And therefore, after 
using this, people tend to find, especially those with long, longer hairs, as they comb, it glides. The comb literally just glides down because there's no positive negative ions. Everything's all negative ions. So when negative and negative, it pushes one another apart, kind of like a magnet. Having said such, we've done a review for all three. Is one eight ninety nine worth it for this? I would say it's a yes for me. I would get this, especially if someone who's got longer hair, treated hair, colored hair, or if you're prone to frizzy hair and you want something that has got the best management, I would go for this. Otherwise, my personal choice, I would just stick to this, especially if you just got shorter hair and you just want to do a quick dry. This, unfortunately, um, as much as it looks fancy, looks big, looks good, supposedly on paper, it's not too bad. However, at three times this price, I would leave this to the professionals to use because they've got more function to be using it for you. This is more suitable for, for people with shorter hairs and those who are on a quick go and you're not so worried about your hairs. This one, you almost don't need to worry. And if it's lightweight and fancy design, you know it's gonna be a talking piece for the long term. I hope you guys found this useful. I hope this helps you to sort of like balance out a good unbiased review. I'm not being paid for any of this review and I just want you to know what's best for you. To know more, like, subscribe, share the content here. Click on that bell button so that you'll get notified on the next time we come out with another fun and useful review for you. And please comment. If there's something that you'd like me to review, if I, if I can do it, I'll do it for you. And we'll be able to share with the rest of the world the best of hair care and technology. With that, thank you very much. My name is Dr. Ali from HTS Clinic.